Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you the three ways you can capture your screen with an XSplit broadcaster. Stay tuned. So whether you're doing tutorial videos and recordings or live streams or even gaming or doing a presentation, you may want to capture your screen for some reason or the other. There are three ways with an expert broadcaster and I'll show you every single way today. Let's go. All right, so we're going to be using this particular layout here to do the screen captures to kind of show you uh, what we can capture on screen. And I like how everything's built into XSplit Broadcaster here. Uh, so to capture screen, there are three ways you can do this. Go down to Add Source in the lower left. And go to the very, very top, you'll see Screen Capture. And here are your three options, Smart Selection, Monitor Capture, and Window Capture. Smart Selection is really simple. You can just click on this. Now, any windows or programs or folders or images you have opened up on your desktop, you can select those by simply hovering over the different elements that will be behind XSplit Broadcaster here. So we're going to exit out by pushing Escape. And I'll show you. I have some demos kind of already set up here. So these are the things that I have opened up on my desktop. So with Smart Selection, we can actually capture uh, any one of these. We could capture this Kirby picture here. This photograph is opened up here. We have Discord open over here. And we also have this Nintendo Chit Chat, uh, my program folder over here with a bunch of files for photos, layouts, that kind of thing, and text files. So any one of these we can capture with Smart Selection. Go back to Broadcaster. Very simple. Add Source again. Click on Screen Capture and click on Smart Selection. Now if we hover over, you can kind of see which windows will be which. This bigger one here obviously is Discord. This one here uh, is the photograph, and this is the folder. So if we click on this box here in the red outline, it smart captures that. And now we have our Discord easily captured right from our desktop. What's cool is we can always resize this as well by simply dragging from a corner, making it bigger or smaller if we have to. We can go back to Add Source, go back to Smart Selection, and we can hover over this folder here. Now we have inputted our folder capture as well. So if you're doing tutorial videos or presentations, uh, this is a really good way to capture multiple windows or folders or images on your desktop and show them on your stream or recording as well, like I'm doing now. Now, of course, if you wanna work and uh, enter text into maybe Discord here or show uh, folders within folders, you can do that. You would simply close and minimize Exploit Broadcaster. And then you could open up another folder here. And if you open up a folder, go back to Exploit Broadcaster here. Of course, it will go to that next folder within that folder. So everything kind of um, changes within that particular app or, or folder location to whatever is on screen currently. Okay, if we go to Discord here as well. Let's say we go to a different Discord. Go to Kotetsu's Discord. Click on that. And of course, with an exploit here, that window updates. And you can see that's in Kotetsu Discord now. I could type Messenger if I wanted to or whatever. But again, this is all kind of real time as we're kind of navigating through the programs or the folders and system. Bring our last source that we have up on screen here. Smart selection again. And I think that was our image. Click on this here. And there is our Kirby image. So again, we have three sources now captured. We have Discord app, uh, we have a folder, directory and we also have our image here and again it all can be resized if we have to making them smaller or bigger to fit them within our layout or screen you can also make them full size again if you want to as well it all depends upon what you're doing for your current scene and setup so that is smart selection with an XSplit broadcaster now it's time for the second way to capture a screen with an XSplit Broadcaster. A lot of us who are content creators have more than one screen usually. So if that's you, you can also use this function, add source, 
go to screen capture and look for monitor capture and this will list your displays that are currently hooked up to your computer uh, right now I have my laptop screen which is the main screen then I have two smaller monitors hooked up as well so we have uh, desktop one two and three so if I hover over one it shows the main one that we're using right now if I click on two or three, I can bring those on to Broadcaster as well. We're gonna hover over uh, desktop two for my second screen. And I actually have Discord opened up maximized on that screen. So this is the capture from that screen. So I can show that display. If I wanted to show my other displays, I could also do that. That's our first display of course with XSplit Broadcaster running you can kind of minimize that a little bit like this and there you go and if I have a third display which I do you can also do that Again, keep in mind this all uses resources so uh, be careful of using system memory and uh, you know having any kind of trouble by using too many sources at once but you can do this if you have a good computer good monitor capture and we'll go with three and there's our third desktop. Nothing's opened up on there yet, but that's our third screen. And again, all of these sources can be resized depending upon what you want to use them for and how you want them to be laid out on your screen. We have three screens here now for my three monitors, all laid out and being captured together on Exploit Broadcaster. Pretty cool and powerful feature for presentations, tutorials, and even streams too. Okay, and last but not least, the third way to capture your screens in Excel Broadcaster is going to add Source again, Screen Capture, and go down to Window Capture. Uh, this is similar to Smart Selection, but this will actually list uh, the windows that are opened up on your desktop. So whether you have Chrome open, a particular web page, uh, whether you have apps open like Discord or Skype or other apps like I have here, Voice Meter set up, I can click on Voice Meter, and that will show this window for Voice Meter on our screen. Now, if you don't see it, what you have to do is make sure the app or folder is actually opened up onto your desktop. If it's minimized in the tray of Windows 10, make sure you click on that so it can be seen on Xbox Broadcaster. So I'll click on this and that should bring it up for us. And there we are, so there you go. So again, if you don't see your source, make sure you click on it so it's not minimized and make sure it's seen on your desktop, that we can see it on XSplit Broadcaster as well. So this is my program that I use for my audio settings here, for the microphone, for my recordings and live streams. So that's kind of cool. We can bring that in here. Uh, if we have, what else we have set up right now? Not too much else as far as windows are open, but we have uh, my Discord once again. So there we go. And we're still on Gatetsu's server there. And there you have it, three easy ways to be able to capture your screen with an Xplit Broadcaster. I love the fact that this is all natively built into Xplit Broadcaster, making it really easy. I've used the display capture quite a bit, and I also use the window capture a lot too. So practice with these and work on them, whether you're doing tutorial videos or streams or presentations, I'm sure you can find this feature very, very useful for your own content. I'm Eddie Ray for The Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.